My name is Ionuț, project coordinator at Bukovina Institute and a member of Creative Digital Transformation Project. In this webinar series, we will show you the most simple definition of an idea, why it is important to ev evaluate each idea that we have and how to validate the idea before it becomes an end product. For more information about our project, please follow, follow our website for the latest news. What is an idea? In common knowledge, an idea is the result of thought. Having such a simple definition and a simple way of creating ideas, how do we validate and evaluate such a large number of ideas that are created daily and how do we ensure that one idea has the potential to sustain itself and be productive in the end? When you have several ideas to consider, a common reaction is to eliminate ideas that seem too unfamiliar, expensive or complicated to pursue. You might rely on assumptions about barriers and risks without giving each idea a fair evaluation. How do we evaluate an idea? If we analyze the structure behind the process of creating an idea, we can come up with simple criteria that can be used to determine if the idea has potential. The unfortunate reality is that it, it's too easy to say no to just about anything. Learning how to evaluate ideas with an empirical driven approach reduces the risk of assumptions or bias killing a great idea or conversely the driving the wrong idea forward. From the start, an idea must be original to differentiate itself from what is already on the market Competition is important, but it is better to be the only one on the market with a product. Because the idea has to have a real-life use, we can acknowledge that utility is another important factor to take into account when evaluating the idea. The idea could be original, but if you can't use it in real life, it is better to return to the drawing board. Is my idea good just for me, or can others benefit from it? This question tells us that an idea can be original and useful, but can everyone benefit from it or is it just for one person? The scalability factor is important when evaluating new ideas because a good idea needs to be useful for many people to be sustainable. Because the process of creating an idea has a human factor, the evaluation of ideas needs to have a human factor as well referring to riskiness. This last criteria is maybe the most important because it can influence an idea more than any of the above criteria. Hundred or maybe thousand of ideas are created daily by use and the process of, of evaluating them has become a routine for us and is more or less done in the subconscious without us even knowing. This is how good ideas are lost. To evaluate an idea, you must take your time to analyze it. There are a lot of instruments to evaluate ideas. We have the SWOT anal analysis, cost-benefit analysis, ABC analysis, and so on. But each of the instruments has its roots in the four above mentioned criteria. They are indeed very good to use, but at the very first stage of evaluating an idea, it is better to use the most simple method and after validating the idea, the process of incubating it begins until it becomes reality. What is idea validation? Idea validation is the process of gathering evidence around ideas through experimentation and make fast informed and de-risked decisions. It's a process that starts from an idea and typically ends with a paying customer. The purpose of idea validation is to expose the idea to the practicality of the real world before it, you build and release the final product or offer. Why should ideas be validated? New ideas have unpredictable elements and if some of them go wrong, it can destroy your plans at once. Validation reduces the risk, speeds up delivery of a value-creating service in the market and minimizes cost. Validating the problem first and seeing if your solution can solve that problem is typically the smartest approach. Creating a solution first and only then looking for a problem could solve 
is a bad idea if you want to minimize the risk. Factors that contribute to the success of your idea. Validation is a continuous process for improving your idea and doesn't stop with the first assumption. Even if you had a real problem and a validated solution for it, there are other aspects that might need to be validated as you develop your idea. Adopter categories and social systems. How appealing is your idea to the relevant adopter categories? Compatibility. Is your idea perceived to be consistent with the needs of a potential adopters? Relative advantage. Is the idea perceived to outperform competition? How is it perceived to be better? Is it actually better? Complexity. Is the idea easy to understand or does it require new knowledge and skills? Trialability. Can your offering be experimented before making a purchase? Observability. Are the benefits of your offering visible for others? Validation is ultimately about testing assumptions. It's important to test the riskiest assumption first and not to waste your time on something that doesn't have potential. You can use the play to win strategy framework as a reference when conducting tests and making choices. Steps to validate your idea. Although there are multiple different ways to validate an idea, the overall validation process is quite simple and straightforward. Platforms like Quora can be used to vet your ideas. All you need is to identify rel relevant channels, influencers and topics to share your post explaining your idea, question in a crisp manner and see how, advi how advice, solutions and validations are received. Every social platform has different communities and probably the target audience for your requirements is clusters in those communities. It is important to deep dive into these channels, investigate various posts and comments relevant to the topic, engage within those communities. It's important to see what are the problems that the target audience is facing and what could be the possible solution. Don't be repetitive. It is important to see if your question or idea has been floated by someone earlier on the same group or community. People would initially answer to new queries and ideas but then eventually lose interest. Also, if you keep presenting your repetitive ideas, people will refrain from engaging with you. Don't sell when ideating. Most of the people will say a landing page should follow your question where people can engage with you in more detail. But a good way to involve people is to mention the kind of problem you are facing, issues with customer demands, and not in terms of yourself or your company. Never try to sell your work at the first go. Ask questions like, working on, how will this work? Do you think this will help? In my opinion, is this useful? Show the value of your idea. You really do not need to have any product hand on. You may just have a small work plan or some script or a simple screenshot, does not matter. In the end, you should be able to show people that their problem could be solved without spending time and money. This is how you will build the future value of your product. Digital tools to validate your idea. Although there are complex frameworks to validate an idea, these usually require additional skills and competencies in order to get the best results. There are also digital tools that are accessible to everyone and are easy to use and have a great potential when it comes to validating business ideas. Analyze demand. Most people start with Google when they want to find something. So having a tool to know what people are searching for is definitely a gold mine. With that said, the Google Keyword Planner tool can help you assess the demand based on the search volume of a certain product. Check out your competition. BuzzSumo is a great platform to search which websites are getting the most attention, including how much each social media platform shared that particular content. 
if you actually have competition in the niche, it is really not a bad sign. In fact, it is actually a good thing as you know that people are more likely to validate your idea if your product or service are similar. View current market trends. It may not be wise to develop a product such as film camera, especially when the market is on a decline. A great place to actually search that would be Google Trends, which tracks the keywords people are searching over the years. Knowing if the market is stagnant or even growing could help you make a better informed decision too. Approach target market directly. Why not seek the opinion of your target market? This is probably one of the best ways to get validation as people are telling you directly if they like a product or not. You can start by searching Facebook pages with targeted keywords. Crowdsource your business idea. A popular way in recent times to validate your business idea is through crowdsourcing. With many sites such as Indiegogo and Kickstarter, the best part of this is getting validation without the need of building or finishing your product or service, but just showing the world your business idea. The more backers or supporters you get, the more validated your business idea is. Conclusion Idea validation is done to minimize the risk of implementing ideas no one wants or isn't willing to pay for. The purpose of idea validation is to make sure your product or business idea has potential and the most critical assumptions regarding your idea are valid. The point is to find the fastest and cheapest way to test your assumptions so that you can decide whether you're going to proceed with the idea or pivot. What makes validation difficult is that often your assumptions are different from the real challenges. Because there are tons of different aspects you can validate, the ability to identify the most significant ones requires a systematic approach. This is all for our webinar on evaluation and validation of creative ideas. If you want to learn more, please check our other webinars developed by the Creative Digital Transformation Project.